Hey, Lin well met friends, Andang here for another episode of our epic battle preview as we make our way through the Helm's Deep uh, beta expansion as we're going through. Reminder, everything is just subject to change because it is beta after all, and we're getting ready to do our fourth epic battle, the Glittering Caves. The Glittering Caves of Algorand are where the women, children, and supplies have been hidden. With the loss of the Wall and Deeping Coom, Gimli, Gamling, and Amir now rally any they can find to hold the line and protect all huddled within. Alright, and there we get a nice uh, preview shot of the Glittering Caves. Now, the Glittering Caves are one of the few places that you can only go through epic battles. And so, definitely a fantastic opportunity to experience this place. I wish that they would open it up to uh, allow everyone to go in at any time. But uh, it is a instance opening spot, so it's kind of like uh, most caves that have uh, instances inside them, only instead it's an epic battle. Alright, and so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the HUD a little bit here and look around, because it is just fantastic. Amazingly beautiful. If we make it over this hill, we can see all the women and children around us. You can see the light coming in and uh, the glitter on the caves. As we look around here, and I'm going to... Hopefully, Shurs can hold it off for a little bit, because I'm going to do some sightseeing. You're going right. to do some sightseeing. That's right, Pine Leaf. All right, so you can see the glittering over there, and look at those amazing waterfalls. Fantastic. All right, let's go and help with the Rose from dying. We can mount on our goat to meet him up quicker. All right. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Okay. <laughs> there we can see some... They've done just a brilliant job uh, making this look... I'd, I'd go so far to say it's the best cave in Lotro. As far as cosmetics go and the amount of detail and work that they've put into well, it. Well, considering how much Gimli praised the place... <laughs> that's true, and that's coming a lot from... Uh, from Gimli. <laughs> All right. Just uh, setting up my blister. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Oh, now I have six points available. That's nice cool thing about the siege equipment is that you can upgrade them and when you do it actually has a visual indication that you have so uh, say you armor it up you can see plates or covering the front of it pretty cool that is nice Alright. How many more to rank 3? Just two more points I need to invest, so let's go ahead and do that so we can get rank 3. And um, now I can place catapults, ballistas, upgrade crank speed of siege weapons, and apply the demoralizing powder to a catapult. So that's very nice. Wonder what we can do at future ranks. Rank four, you get all sorts of uh, engineering upgrades for speed, and then ooh, triple loadings and catapults will be fun with rank five, and then huge increases in the amount of stuff you can do with the final rank, of course. Right, let's go ahead and put another stun trap here. Tomato. <laughs> Alright, now I'm entering the caves. Okay. Way behind you. <laughs> well, this is a three man. The three man is currently closed on beta, and Pine Leaf is uh, 
bring his own solo battle to join us. In yeah, Twitter. and since I have the lowest rank of any of you guys, I'm sure I'm not going to do it. could be a little challenging, yes. It can be a little bit challenging, yes. Oh, okay, I see. All right, so I've got some bear traps now, some trip wires, and some caltrops. Okay. Yeah, that happens with uh, rank one, I believe. Yes, because I, this is my first time I've played it since hitting rank one. So now I just have to... Let's place a count here. There okay. Alright, need to head west, young hobbit. <laughs> Indeed. Oh. Of course, now i got to find the path. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit of a drop down, <laughs> unless you take the long way. So it helps being a burglar? Uh, probably, yeah. I'd say so. Alright. Still not lost anybody, that's good. Very important to keep the women and children alive in this one as well later on. Future generations will thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not just future generations, but just the sheer survival of the world. Yeah. Well, yes, but if you fail, there won't be any future generations. That's the point. <laughs> nope, remember this one. Yep. So, let's go ahead and. You can use the marking flags then, Nathan. Because <laughs> I'm not sure, quite sure how they work. Um, well, basically, it drops stalactites on them. Right. And you have to time it for when right, they yeah. come, which is very, very difficult right now. Right. But that was actually fairly good. She <laughs> <laughs> lucked out on that one. I have to get used to how Is that your tar, I believe? these things. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, a one minute cooldown at my rank. <laughs> <laughs> We're already through bronze and almost on our way to silver. That's good. Well, here's the. Oh, now is there. Where can I find a ballista or catapult or something? It's in the main camp where all the women and children are. Oh, in other words, that place I left a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to go back there now. You'll be able to go back there later, though. And we're now to silver on this one. So we're going to do this. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think. Just don't yeah, bring down be. the whole cave. Alright, I'll put We're a trap almost there. Almost gold now, which is surprising actually. I think this one's going. Seem to be doing good. Yeah, we do. I presume at some point they're going to start marching on us. Well, they're already marching on us, finally. <laughs> well, yeah, but I, ha I haven't seen a single orc yet. I wouldn't be complaining. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of no, we've got a lot behind us now. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, goodness. Stop those two. Oh, okay, I think I found some. Stop those two. Darn. I think Gamlin can take care of him. Yeah. This one, though. Okay, well, I okay, you drop into the water, <laughs> buddy. I won't stop you. All right. Okay, I'm behind a platinum. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna head back to my place. Okay, I'm gonna head back to my place. We're almost to bronze. Very good. What was that about? 
No, it was just the commander, I don't know. Yeah, it's saying. kinda cool. Every time you give him a command, they yell. Well, I didn't give him command and he was yelling, so it didn't make any sense. That was well, my respect. Okay. Well, sometimes he will randomly give a command himself. He, he is the commander, so... Yes. <laughs> Alright. Emir's voice calls out, They are thinning. We will soon have a break. Make the best of it. Alright. He wasn't joking about soon. And we are way through bronze and almost at silver now, so that's good. Mm -hmm. And maintaining, through most of these battles, I've actually maintained while recording in fraps around 60 frames per second on a few years old PC laptop. So that shows you how well Turbine has gotten these epic battles to reduce uh, the lag and the sheer amount of units that come through. It's pretty yep. impressive. I've been running on uh, almost max settings, and I'm getting uh, at least 30. Yep, I've been doing the same. Fantastic. And you're saying you have an old PC and you're getting 60? Fairly old. Uh, one or two years old, but it is a gaming PC, so... Right yeah. Okay, Eastern Tunnels. Yep. So it's I'm just taking my ballista with me. Stalactites over the bridge. Using... Goats and epic battles, I think, is as close as you can get to war goats right now. Okay. Now, what am I supposed to do about the stalactites? You're supposed to right click the on the banners, the flags behind, and try to time it right. And it's very, very hard until you realize just how long it takes. The last wave is very tough. Well, let's see, it's supposed to supply <laughs> destroy zero diversity. Protect the ballast uh, and defeat ways of enemies is all it says. And I love some of the uh, fog or mist kind of stuff that they've done throughout mm -hmm. these caves. Very cool. Alright. As you can Which see, the caves are actually very diverse. There's different uh, designs in different places as they turn red uh, up that way. And uh, you Go can have that one. the other one then. <laughs> yep. Alright. Let's see how far forward can I go. You can see the red glow there. Not far enough is the answer. <laughs> yeah, just fantastic. The uh, go there, there, and you can see the enemies actually getting ready to come around. They actually go all the way around the uh, sides over there. So very cool. Be able to see your doom before it happens. Yeah, I'm almost to 87, so close. Alright, let's see. I didn't actually loot this last time. Probably should do that. Oh, that cheek. Let's see. Yeah, I got all sorts of rewards. Oh, see if I can repair this barricade. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh, boy. It takes a long time, it looks like. Yeah. Yes, it does. Especially with the orcs breaking it down at the same time. Uh oh. That's not good. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the hardest one. Oh, they set my blister on fire. Oh, nice. Better than the barrier. Sappers. Oh, no, you're not doing it again. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, well. Oh, boy. This is. I like this part of the cave because it's closer to like a nighttime battle almost, and so you can really oh, see the uh, beauty of the effects. I did get a completed message, so losing two barricades probably didn't exactly do too much for my score. <laughs> Let's see. Well, Other it gave me a, 
What did it say? Civilians haven't said it. See. Awarding medal points for. Oh, it gave me a gold. Nice. nice. You did something right. <laughs> They're thinning, we'll soon have a break. That's good to hear. Aren't you supposed to be the epic battler of Middle Earth? Will take me a couple of months. I think I've stolen that title that. from you. <laughs> I think this video proves it. Alright. So, yeah, just taking We're down just the beginning. waves here. But you still got plenty of time to prepare. Point, I think we're gonna have to do like a quiz show type format where we have someone asking questions about epic battles and we have to answer them. And whoever answers the most right gets the title. <laughs> <laughs> epic Jeopardy, huh? Of course, I would make the questions. Oh, of course! <laughs> oh, spiders again. Yeah, and I know, you'll try I'm to be, running over there. You'll try to be one of the contestants at the same time? Well, of course, I'm gonna be a contestant. You think I'd pass up trying to get the title? <laughs> Mm-hmm. You don't sound too well, convinced, finally. I don't know, I smell something fishy there. Now this one's actually become a lot easier. Now that you can have uh, one direction. Uh, that you can I'll actually defend try it against. I'll this guy here, see if he actually does anything. <laughs> yeah, no. I completely lost. Okay. I think what this does, it, makes, it, it lets you get the uh, higher grade. So I think try, so, uh, but there are spiders almost getting ready to web this place, so I could use your help. My pet should be there. <laughs> He's not helping, wherever he is. He's just kind of sitting there. I'm killing some uh, from here. Oh, wonderful. And now, where am I supposed to be going? That's the problem with the glittering caves. Until you know where you're supposed to be going, you... Yeah, it really? is a little bit confusing at first, kind of like Moria, but there are, thankfully, uh, mini map to help you out a little bit. Yeah, unfortunately, I seem to have gotten so off the path that I am hitting invisible walls everywhere. Okay, you probably want to head back then, wherever you came. Yeah. Oh, where am I? Oh, goodness gracious! No I wonder I was, I was in, I was in the <laughs> enemy territory. It looks like. Okay, that would do it. Oh. oh. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> that was cool. He actually climbed up the wall. Oh, goodness. I have a feeling everybody's going to be oh. dead by the time I get to the front. Probably. Well, we are bronze at least. Something. They make interesting noises. Yeah, this. Spiders. I do remember I have found my way around here before during an earlier run, but now I just can't find anything. Well, it's at least. Okay, finally. Yes. Oh, I think I finally found the way. Good. All right. They keep coming. I thought I, was, I could direct. really use your help. I'm trying to free some of these Rohirrim. Yeah, I know you are, but man, this is hard. Right, finally a break. Ah, here we go. I think this is Where's everybody? Oh, that's right. You did say something about being able to use your goat here. <laughs> I think I could. Yeah, that would help a little bit. Fine. At least I found Gimli. Yeah. If you save the Rohirrim soldiers, your grade goes up. I noticed. It's good. Definitely worth trying, but man, is it going to be hard. Alright, the crystal's been saved, so now we come in and kill uh, these. Here, here are some yep. orcs. And that's one interesting thing about this one, is it's actually a dual-tier uh, objective. I'm probably going to lose soldiers from the main fight fight now. But <laughs> yeah, but that's okay, I suppose. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. Oh, a lot of these cocoons. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me place down a trap first. Let's pull them here. Uh. Or not. I forgot these don't move. Just send your whole pet army, it's okay. What, you sick them? Oh. Mm-hmm. I sicked him. Ow. How'd that happen? The archers, I'm guessing they pushed the line forward and we got killed. So Probably. I think you need to kill him quicker. Yep. And we can't get in there to kill the boss now. No, we can't. Done. So they should add a time thing onto that one. Alright. So where now, are we going now? Um Wait, a minute, um fall back to the center. Which is All this right. way, I believe. Yeah, it's that really long way. There's like the really separate ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are gonna be some spiders around here, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You have that side then? Yeah. We should pick up a blister. Oops. This is so maybe it's not a good idea to save the Rohirrim. <laughs> I think we just needed to blitz the boss. Mm -hmm. Oh, nearly went the wrong way. Oh, there's a spider. They start coming very frequently. Yes, they do. Here's the commander here. Let's get you to black I wonder how effective caltrops would be against the spider. <laughs> More effective than the stuns because they are. Some of them are immune to it. Actually, with names like Crystal Spider, I would almost think that they would be, look like the ones in Moria. I have a feeling that's bad. <laughs> what? That the that the crystal got covered with webbing. <laughs> All right, so the enemy has constructed traps and cracks on the paths of the glittering caves. Oh, it's this one. We remember need to do uh, it. We need to be quick for this. Yes, we do. So let's get on our goats and rush over there. You do a lot of disabling stuff. Yeah, you do. Luckily, we're engineering skill this time, so mm. hopefully it'll go faster. But let's just focus on one barricade and try to make it through. Does it mean are they just regenerating? No, they're not. Oh, you just need to do it more than once, so it's a pain. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm guessing you're not meant to walk into the traps. No, you don't want to walk into the traps. Back to the center. Let's yeah. so find my goat. Alright. Now, the Dunlending Warriors.
<laughs> oh, that was worth it. Nice. <laughs> now these barricades. Okay, now, what do I do while I'm up here? Oh, then... Tr forward the final boss here. I'm just going to go get my pet to kill it. Yeah. Oh, well. They come from both sides or from one particular side? Both oh. sides all the both. time, finally. So, I try to think where am I supposed to defend it? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only one hobbit! Yeah, you have to go back and forth. It's hard solo. Yeah. Okay. One out of three. It. I guess we were supposed to take out the other two first. No, we won. We just didn't um, do enough of the secondaries to get the grade. Well, I mean, we the, were meant to. You're only supposed to. The only objective was to take out the bosses. No, that's part the main objective, yes, but to get the rest of it, you need to actually... Well, right, the yeah, but we could have taken out more bosses, I think. Well, the only bosses there was the um, barricades, the fires and stuff. Mm. I guess that was hard, though, because we only barely made it with that. <laughs> yep. Let's hope no one's dead. <laughs> Indeed, let's hope no one's dead. Look, everyone's dead. I have not lost anyone yet. I haven't either. Alright, Sapper. Oh, that barricade's almost gone. Really almost gone. One? Oh, this is... Well, that was fun. Yeah, I haven't even met an orchid, and I'm already given an objective. <laughs> uh, That's how it works, finally. You're in the Rohira Mari now. Yeah, well... Alright, let me... I'm like 37 with this one. I'm awful close. Yeah, I... Still haven't figured out how to get anywhere in this place. <laughs> It's okay, it'll come with time, maybe. Yeah, about a year or two. <laughs> well, you're still figuring out the Etmores, and that's about the size of the Glittering Cave, so... Alright, here we go. Now, maybe this will at least... take me someplace. Alright, so the Glittering Caves are probably a little bit smaller, but not much, actually. They're really big. Oh, well, at least I found some orcs. Do you have anybody guess... assaulting your side chairs? Yeah, yeah, they're coming. I don't have anybody on mine. Might come join you a bit. No. Good for traps this part because there's only one way and it's very narrow. Yep. They keep chipping all over themselves. Oh my 
Was that enough for the trip wire? Alright, and we finished off the Glittering Caves and uh, got 48,000 XP for it and uh, all sorts of uh, metals silver metal. Things. Yep. So, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of our epic battle playthrough as we've been making our way through this uh, awesome new mechanic that's coming to Lotro. And Amir's voice echoes through the caves. We have driven them back! And that's definitely a huge achievement. And here you can see the true beauty of the caves. Um, with this little area here. You can actually swim out <laughs> into it and see it in all its glory. No, still no one from this direction. So, definitely just amazing. Amazing, amazing cave. And it just keeps going back so far. They, they've created this whole area and fleshed it out really well. Um, and you can just go exploring in it, and it's just fantastic. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fantastic. And there we go. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you again real soon. PVMP and dang, subscribe.